Hello there and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia and today I'm sharing with you my Aldi haul, which you can see right back here. Picked up a lot of new, not new things, but things for school lunches because school is back in session. I haven't hit um, Costco yet, so I had to pick up a few things that normally I would get at Costco but I'm just so tired. Like Costco in itself is like a journey. You have to prepare yourself mentally, physically, all that stuff. I'm not quite there yet. So um, let me share everything that I picked up from Aldi today. So here is the haul. Let's get right into it. So first thing, some lunch meat. I usually like to get my lunch meat, like I mentioned, at Costco, but because I don't really see myself going in the next few days, I did want to pick these guys up. So I have some Black Forest ham along with some oven classic turkey breast. And it looks like they redid their packaging. These are kind of cool. These kind of look like resealable, reusable packages. Really nice. I also picked up some sliced cheese because we're running out of sliced cheese. Again, love to usually get it at Costco because it's way more cost efficient buying it in bulk like that. But some sliced provolone cheese will be great for sandwiches and some wraps. One of my sons doesn't like the taste of mozzarella sticks very often, so I decided to pick up these cheddar cheese sticks as a snack for after school. So moving on up, I have some crunchy items for my kids' lunch boxes. I did get some cheese puffs. Now, I normally never get these type of chips. I can't even remember the last time I got Cheeto puffs, to be honest, but my younger son um, has been requesting these for a long time. And most recently, if you guys are new to my channel, most recently my younger son was actually in the hospital for about five days. And so it was kind of, he, he's fine now, we, he's at home, he's at school, so thank Jesus that everything is fine. But it kind of made me realize, you know what, like every once in a while, I. I don't, you know, I don't like junk food too much. And I try to make my own things whenever I can, especially desserts. I try to make them all homemade. But I should allow my kids to every once in a while get something that they really love. And my son has honestly been asking for Cheeto Puffs for a really long time. So I did decide just to get these. He's gonna be shocked when he gets home that these are in the pantry. He's gonna be very excited. But I think having these as a once in a while treat is gonna be just fine, especially because they don't eat them that regularly. Um, also, these are, most. a lot of these chips too are for my husband. I did get those sea salt ones from Costco, but he asked for something different for his lunches, so I decided to pick up a few different things for him. Um, first off, some barbecue chips that are already open because my daughter wanted some for her lunch, so I did give her a couple of those. But I also saw these hot honey chips. These look so good, they sound delicious. Gonna give those a try. Um, another crunchy option, some Chex Mix. My other son has been asking for some of these too, so I did decide to get that. Some baby carrots, again, waiting to go to Costco. We have absolutely no carrots. A lot of things are actually depleting, so I definitely need to be gearing up to go to Costco. I'm telling you guys, it takes a lot of effort to get to Costco these days. Some greens, so I do have some baby spinach and arugula and some spring mix as well. I like to make salads, of course. I like to make like omelets at home and then place my omelet on top of a, be a bed of greens. I try to incorporate this into smoothies, so getting greens anywhere that I can. Some more snack options here. Uh, my kids are allowed to have a bowl of cereal, not, as, not at breakfast, but my husband also likes to have cereal too as a snack, so some cinnamon crunch square you know, similar to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then some frosted shredded mini wheats. Hiding behind this bag of chips right here is a small baggie of mini avocados. They're really small, there's about six in there, but for a really good price. I do have some pasta here. I always like to make sure I have some variety of pasta in my pantry, so I do have some penne pasta along with, here it is, some spaghetti, I try to keep everything together, along with some spaghetti. I'm thinking about making some more chicken tetrazzini this upcoming week. I might as well just stay down over here. I have an assortment of olives. These just looked so refreshing and delicious. Me and my husband love to eat like snacky foods a lot of the time, so got some olives. I also picked up some hummus, so we can use our baby carrots for this garlic hummus. I also have some cucumbers. We are still growing quite a bit of cucumbers in our backyard, along with cherry tomatoes, so I did not need to pick any of those up. I probably won't need to get those at Costco either, but those are great snack options for that hummus. I did pick up a large, extra large Supreme Pizza. Their pizzas, you guys, are so good. Even their chicken bacon ranch ones are so delicious. Very good. The chicken bacon and ranch are actually made with, I believe, their nuggets, I wanna say. 
um, I can't remember, but I know that they're breaded and they're kind of cut up and they kind of remind me of the chicken nuggets. These are so good. My kids really love them in the air fryer, so I make those quite a bit for them. One of our dinners this week is going to be some fish tacos. So I do have a fish taco recipe where I, I mainly use cod and then I put a bunch of seasonings on it. I'll link that down below, but I'm just gonna try making some fish tacos with the battered stuff. So the top box, they only had one of these boxes left of the wild caught, beer battered cod fillets. So I did have to get something else too. Some wild caught crunchy fish fillets. I don't know what type of fish it is. We will find out here soon. But um, that is going to be on the menu this week. I did place a Walmart order uh, a week-ish, maybe over a week ago. And I got some watermelon. It was probably the best watermelon aside from like a roadside stand that we've ever had. So I'm kind of hoping that Aldi's gonna bring it home and have some sweet, delicious watermelon. I also picked up some cantaloupe. This was on sale. I like to have this with a little cup of cottage cheese as a good like breakfast option or snack option. A lot of berries, some strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries, of course, for breakfast in oatmeal bowls, for my kids' lunches, yogurt parfaits. We like to have a lot of fruit in our house. I also picked up some wraps. These are the spinach wraps. These actually make an appearance in my most recent vacation meals video where I made some chicken salad wraps. My husband made a tri-tip wrap using these wraps. These are so yummy. So these are mainly going to be for me and my husband because these are quite large. A bunch of frozen veggies. I always like to have frozen veggies in my freezer. So some cut green beans, some peas, and then I have two bags of this mixed blend. Running out of bread. I usually get bread again from Costco, but I wanted to get this just to have on hand in case I am out by the time I go. And this is just the, what is this? I've never bought bread here before or this type of sliced bread before. It's just 100% whole wheat bread. Some more fruit. We have some honey crisp apples. My kids really love having sliced apples with some peanut butter and cinnamon sprinkled on top as a snack. So I always like to make sure I have apples on hand. And if you ever find that you have an excess of apples, I have a fantastic recipe using apples. I will link down below, guys. It is so good and it's perfect like for fall. Some bananas, of course, I always like to have, like I mentioned, I love having fruit on hand. So bananas definitely is always gonna be in our kitchen. I did pick up some chia seeds. I am very low on chia seeds in my pantry. I like to put this in chia, to make like my own like chia pudding. I've been really into chia pudding recently, but also into overnight oats. I've been sticking a tablespoon or two of the chia seeds just to get some more fiber. And speaking of fiber, this was also there, I'm shocked. Um, to be honest, that they had flaxseed. Now they had the whole flaxseed where you can get the milled. This is just great for fiber. You can sprinkle that into your smoothies, oats. I think you can even put this on salads, but really great that they have that at Aldi. Last week I made some fantastic lentil soup. I'm trying to get more like plant-based protein into our diet, me and my husband's diet mainly, and I wanted to pick up some vegetable broth because I think I'm gonna make it again this upcoming week with lentils and then whatever vegetables I have in my fridge. I did pick up one gallon. I, I was thinking about getting two, but just one in case I make that Costco haul very soon. I also have a large pineapple back there. I do have one that is ready to go and to be cut up, so this is just kind of replacing the one on our counter. And I did miss a few other things down here. I've never tried these perfect bars. I found them in the frigid, the frigid, the cooler like section. They weren't like in the aisle or anything, but these look like they have a bunch of protein, uh, 12 grams of protein in one bar. So I just got one just to try it. And then another thing I'm gonna be making this week is either going to be my chicken and rice casserole. It's so easy, it's in the Instant Pot. This goes in it, um, or my creamy chicken goodness, which again, I like to always have these guys in my pantry for those quick meals. Soccer season is coming up. All three of my kids are gonna be in soccer this season, so that is gonna make for some hectic, busy days coming up here soon. All right, friends, so that is it for this Aldi haul. Hopefully you get some new meal ideas or you're just looking for some pricing on what Aldi has to offer this week. Hopefully this is helpful to you. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.